Hello. This will not be the most exciting video that we've ever made, but if you'll bear with me for five or six minutes, I will make it worth your while. Um, if you can just follow these shipping guidelines that I'm going to put forth to you, it would help me so much because I spend about two or three hours a day um, crafting emails to individual people about their particular temperature situation. So if you can follow these guidelines, it will save me time and I can be spending more time making candy, the candy that you love, like snack clubs, turtle pops, peanut butter and fluff clucks, clucks, peanut butter and fluff clucks. You try saying it, it's not easy. Cups. But if you could follow these guidelines, it would help me out so much. I would truly appreciate it. And you'll find out at the end, there's a tiny little, tiny little bonus for you, if you get it all right. Hi, I'm Terry and I will be your shipping counselor today. My teleprompter is broken, so I'm going to be reading off of this lovely white paper. Here's the deal. Shipping in the summer has a lot of rules, and I'm going to explain them to you. Um, I spend many hours contacting you wonderful folks by email and phone explaining that your chocolate is going to melt, and I craft many emails detailing how much it will cost you to have your chocolate not melt. So if you can follow these guidelines that I'm about to put forth, it would help me tremendously and together we can make shipping in the summer great again. Okay, so first of all when shipping the summer, add one or two cold packs to your order if the temperatures are between 70 and 85 degrees. The cold packs are good for about 48 hours. If the temperatures are above 85 degrees, the cold packs are only good for 36 hours. The cold packs are good, but they're not magic. Okay, to determine the time in transit, I have a handy map on our website, on the shopping cart page. So put your items in your cart, and then go to your cart, and it says shopping cart here, and then it says USA time and transit map. So just click on that, and you've got UPS listed first and FedEx second. UPS ground, um, if you are in the correct colored areas is the way to go if you're within one or two days from us. So anywhere in the yellow here, New York State, if even if it's as high as 90 degrees, you put a cold pack in there, you're good. Now, if you are in the brown area, that's two days away, so that means if we ship out on a Monday, it will arrive on a Wednesday. The day we ship does not count. If it's going to be 85 degrees or below, you're fine. If it's going to be 85 degrees if it's going to be 86 degrees or above, you need next day air with a cold pack. And that is not cheap. So I'm sorry. I wish it was. And I wish you lived closer. Because then we could have coffee and we could talk. But anyway, I digress. So if it's going to be over 85 degrees, next day air with a cold pack is necessary. Now let's scroll on down to FedEx. Um, FedEx ground home delivery anywhere in the pink is one day away. So again, if, even if it's going to be over, even if it's going to be 90 degrees, one a cold pack in there, you're good. Um, second day air is going, or second day, two days, we'll get there. And as long as you put a cold pack in there and it's 85 degrees or below, you're fine. Anything else needs to go next day air with a cold pack. So just choose, if you have to go with next day air, just choose whichever one is cheaper. Um, I know sometimes I will look at the weather and if I'm looking at the weather for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if it's going to be 84 degrees on Wednesday and then 90 on Thursday and Friday, I try to time it so it'll get there on Wednesday. Then you can go with second day air instead of having to pay for next day air because it's not cheap. But anyways, that is my time and transit map. Now let's see what I've forgotten. Okay, one thing I should point out, um, uh, for FedEx ground home delivery, the blue areas, North Carolina and South Carolina are generally in the two day area. Most of South Carolina is all of North Carolina is. So if it's 85 degrees or below, that's, that's pretty good savings there. Cause otherwise you're getting into the next day air thing. Nobody wants that. Okay. And uh, also FedEx ground home delivery does deliver on Saturday. So if we ship out of here on a Thursday, it'll get there on Saturday. How neat is that? A lot of times people are home from work on Saturdays too. UPS does have a little bit of Saturday delivery, but only in the one day area. So if you, do, if you order on a Friday, in some cases, it will arrive on a Saturday if you're in New York, but it's kind of spotty. So I wouldn't really count on that too much. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, so I would also not recommend three-day shipping in the summer. It's not useful because the cold packs just don't last that long. So don't 
go with it to the extra expense. It's got to get there within two days or not at all. Okay, please remember if you live in a hot area such as Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California, and any other hot places, um, ordering cold packs is not enough because they only last for up to two days, so you must choose second day air if it's 85 degrees or less, next day air if it's over 85 degrees. We don't ship chocolate if we know it will melt unless you are okay with that. I know this is a lot of information to throw at you, and a lot of you folks do get it right. So I don't have to get in touch with you, and you folks deserve a gold star. And I've got them right here. So if you don't hear from me and you do get a gold star on your package, kudos to you. You made my little heart go pitter-patter. i got to get back to work. <laughs>